Hey, welcome back to another Dreamweaver tutorial from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. Today we're going to be floating div tags. I'll show you how to line them up into position exactly where you want them to be and deal with any problems you get along the way. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, we're at the tutorial section of dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. Um, I'm going to preview in the browser and we're going to place adverts. I'm going to put two adverts above the tutorial's home link. One on the left, one on the right. And to do that we're going to have to float the div tags and uh, also put in a clearing element. And that clearing element, once in place, will stop any other div tags below the two div tags that I'm going to float from floating as well. Now to do this we're going to go into code view and find the position we need to be. So I've clicked inside the link for tutorials home which has brought me roughly to the area I need to be. Okay so let's zoom in a bit and you can see tutorials home. I'm just going to highlight it for you now. Now I'm going to place the two adverts above the tutorials home link. So I'm going to create a space between the line breaks and the header tag and I'm going to place two div tags. Now before I put the advert div tags in, I'm going to put a div tag in that encompasses both the adverts and I'm going to call that an ID of advertisements. And it doesn't really matter what you call them as long as you can remember what the div tag is for. So it makes sense for me to call it advertisements because I'm going to put two advertisements in it. Okay, so I've put the closing div tag in as well and inside that div tag I am going to place the two div tags for the advertisements. So I'm going to put in the first div tag inside of the advertisements div tag and I'm going to give that an ID of PowerWeb which is a web hosting company and I'm going to create the second div tag now as well and I'm going to call that one GoDaddy which is a domain and web hosting company. Dreamweavertutorial.co.uk is currently hosted with GoDaddy's hosting servers and I have to say it's a very good company, it's the first time I've used GoDaddy but the website has hardly been down at all. They offer a 99% uptime and the prices are pretty cheap, I've got to say. So I'm ready to put in the first advertisement. I've already got the scripts ready, so I'm going to left click inside of the div tag. I want to place the ad and right click and paste the script inside. And as you can see, the script has appeared. So when we preview that in the browser, it should show up with a, an advert. OK, we're ready to preview this in the browser. I'm just going to clean up the code a little bit so you can see roughly what we're doing because it looks a bit messy. There's nothing wrong with the code, but it's just a little bit messy on the screen, that's all. OK, let's preview this in the browser. So I'm going to go up to globe icon, preview it in Firefox and save the changes. OK, so here we are. The advertisement's in place, or should I say the div tag is where it should be. And uh, we're going to place an advert right next to that as well. So let's go back into Dreamweaver and um, I'm going to place my cursor just after the closing div tag for the first advertisement, the PowerWeb div tag. Uh, making sure that we're still inside of the div tag for advertisements. So I'm going to place my cursor now and as you can see there's still a closing div tag next to it. So that's how I know that I'm inside, still inside of that div tag for advertisements. So here's the div ID, I'm going to call it GoDaddy because that's the advertisement I'm going to place in there. So make sure whenever you open a div tag you need to close the div tag. So I'm going to put in the closing element of that div tag and then I'm going to place my cursor in the centre of the GoDaddy div tag and I'm going to place the new advertisement. OK, so I'll left click, then right click and then I'll paste the new script inside and that's now appeared, that's brilliant. OK, so we're almost at the point where we're going to float these div tags. Let's preview the uh, advertisements in the browser and see what we're looking at at the moment. Now, as you can see, one is under the other and there's a big space on the right hand side. So I'm going to float it so that I can take up that space. OK, let's go back into Dreamweaver and let's have a look in the code. Now, remember I created a, an encompassing div tag called advertisements. If I click inside, you'll see that a yellow border appears just above the tutorial's home link. So I'm going to create a new CSS rule. I've targeted advertisements already. 
and I'm going to zero out all of the margins and padding. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is just in case if I float the elements and there's a problem I can say that the padding and margin are zeroed out so that is not the problem uh, that we're facing. So I'm going to zero out all of the padding for all of the div tags that I've created so I'll create a new CSS rule for PowerWeb and uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. We've already targeted PowerWeb div tag by clicking inside of it so it makes it very easy to create our CSS rule. I've gone into the box category and I've zeroed out everything. Click apply then click OK and I'm going to do the same but before I'm going to change the width to auto so that the script will do what it, what it what it's trying to do uh, which is to expand how it naturally expands to so I'm going to change the width and the height to automatic okay so now finished with that one I'm going to click inside of the GoDaddy that's targeted the CSS and I'm going to zero out the margins and padding for GoDaddy div tag as well now I know it can be a bit boring, a bit tedious to zero out the margins and padding but I'm really covering myself just in case when I float those elements if there is, they're not appearing exactly where I want them to be then at least I can say that they're not being affected by the margins or the padding now when you create a website and you've got a lot of CSS rules it can get a bit confusing so I'm going to minimize my panel and click on the CSS styles I'm going to drag out and down so I can get a full view of all of my CSS rules because I'm about to float the div tags so I want you to pay good attention I'm going to click on the GoDaddy CSS rule and what I'm going to do is go down to the box category again and I'm going to float left and click apply okay so I floated that div tag now you saw that the yellow margins uh, the yellow border just uh, decreased in size there let's preview in the browser and see what we've done okay well right now it looks a right mess doesn't it I mean you've got the two adverts you've got the tutorials home link has just moved up to the right a little bit as well as my Google AdSense adverts um, the reason that's happened is because we haven't floated the other div tag and as soon as we do we're going to see something a little bit different so I'm just going to reset my view, my workspace now we floated the GoDaddy div tag first I'm going to float left the PowerWeb div tag now so I'm just going to click inside of the PowerWeb div tag and I'm going to find the CSS rule for that and when I double click I'm going to go to, down to the box category I'm going to float it left and then we'll have a look in the browser and see what it looks like now so click apply and click OK and let's preview that in Firefox OK now we can see that the advertisements are next to each other now that's good but the tutorials home link is on the right and I really want that to be below the adverts so we'll go back into Dreamweaver now I'm using a Dreamweaver template and with certain templates you will find a clearing element located at the bottom of the template near the footer element and this is what it looks like you can also type that in manually and it will do the same thing it also has a closing tag integrated into it so you won't need to close that tag off you can see there's a forward slash at the end so instead of typing it I'm just going to copy it and uh, I'm going to move up to the top of my page and paste it just below um, the two advertisements and what that will do is say nothing else can float past that clearing element so effectively you're just resetting the way it used to be before we floated the elements okay I think we're ready to preview this in Firefox so I'll go to the globe icon preview it save the changes and there you go two adverts side by side and the tutorials home link just below fantastic so what did we just do well we floated one of the div tags which caused it to come out of the flow of the web page the second div tag then slid in to take its place but when we floated that one it come back out and joined next to the first div tag and by placing the clearing element we forced anything else below that div tag to not float at all